Good evening. Slippery roads and speed sent a car into the river in Logan Canyon. The accident happened at milepost 473. That's a spot that's becoming a very common area for accidents. New specialist Alex Cabrero joins us with more. Alex. That's right, Bruce. Uh, mile marker 473 up here, Logan Canyon, is right near where we saw that car go into the river back on January 1st when three children had to be rescued from the car from the icy water. That place there is becoming very popular as a place where cars simply go off the road. And in this case, same kind of situation where the roads were just too wet and too snowy. Let me show you the road conditions where we're standing right here. Now, the road is a little wet, but it's not too slippery in the spot. However, when you go further up the canyon, that's where you see some snow, that's where the road starts to get really bad. We have some video here of what those road conditions look like when the accident happened between noon and one o'clock here. That driver was just heading up to Beaver Mountain to try to go skiing with some friends. She says when she hit that spot, there was just too much snow and ice. She hit that spot, started to spin, overcorrected. That's when the car went into the river. Now, the good news, she and her friends were able to get out of the car. There were no injuries and they were able to tow the car out of there. But I spoke with the Utah Highway Patrol trooper who told me in that particular spot the sun doesn't really hit the pavement so it's always icy it's always snowy and when you're in a canyon road and you see that spot you have to take it easy this is just a location in the canyon where one has to be very mindful of the the car that they're driving the condition the car is in and certainly the road conditions here it's like any canyon you drive in in utah the weather can change quickly it can be icy and you have to be very careful on these uh, roads and these turns I also spoke with a spokesperson for the Utah Department of Transportation about any safety features they could put in here up Logan Canyon. In some places, they do have guardrails to try and keep cars from going off the side of the road, but that's in the lower part of the canyon and in the upper part of the canyon where they have done some improvements. In that narrow part there where the accident happened, there's really a, not a whole lot of room they could do to make some improvements. They did put up some signs warning drivers about the sharp curves, but because it is an environmentally sensitive area in the middle part of the canyon there's not a whole lot they can do this spring they are going to put a high friction surface down to try and help drivers and keep their cars on the road but again bruce and Dini, as they told me it all comes down to driver responsibility you just have to take it slow when it's winter time in those roads that's a good reminder for us all alex thank you